Howdy YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream and it is a beautiful day in Ohio and I've got something to talk about and it's something that we just purchased because of our last camping trip. I've been riding on a daydream. So if you guys happen just to fall onto this channel because of what I've got titled up in the description, uh, basically we are full-time homeowners and we're trying to become full-time RVers and it's a process that's been going on for quite some time. It's funny because you have an idea of what you want to do and what you think you may need and then things change or you run into some weird situations. And that's what I'm talking about today and what we've come to the conclusion <laughs> and it was because of our last camping trip. So as far as canopies are concerned, there's one canopy we've always carried with us. I'll put a link down below. I've done a review on it in the past so maybe I'll put a link up here uh, for the video you can go look at that and they changed the way that they designed it but it's a picnic table canopy and we've always used that we love it and we'll continue to use it we'll bring it wherever we go now our last camping trip that we had a little outing at we did not have a picnic table so we knew that we weren't going to use that canopy so even though we brought it we didn't even get it out because it wasn't even worth it and that took away some area for us to operate in. Now, whenever you're traveling full time, it's not necessarily ideal camping situations. And in our case, we had a lot of wind and rain that was going on. And when we put out our awning, it seemed like that we were always bringing the awning in, going back out, bringing it back in. And I'm glad that that happened because we had full intentions of getting a screened in room that attached to the awning or at least a sunscreen. Now we will probably still get the sunscreen at some point, but that screened in room, that would have been a nightmare. Every time it would have started raining or gotten where it was a little bit windy and a storm would come through, we would have had to un unzip the screen room, put everything away, and then roll the awning in. So we've always had, and I don't know if you can tell over here, um, some sort of a canopy. Now we just purchased this canopy and it has nothing to do with camping that is for yard sales and flea markets and swap meets for us to have a three-sided or actually four-sided if we wanted to uh, shelter that would allow us to set up at a flea market and be protected from the elements for the most part now our other video that I will put a link up above here uh, I did a review of our favorite canopy that we used when we used to go camping in our pop-up camper all the time even though both our pop-up campers had awnings on them, we always used those pop-up style awnings and we found a really good one. It's called Titan Shade. The only thing is, is the, the sides that they offer aren't very good. I don't know what it is, but the mill isn't very good and it's just not a good quality. So we never bought the sides for that. And that's why we bought this one because they have good quality sides. However, that Titan Shade, we thought that we might just bring that along with us just in case we may need it. Because sometimes when you're out and about and you're traveling, you may get to a campground that you may not be able to put out your awning. Well, we camped at a campground local to us here and the pine trees just kind of lined both sides of our RV to where we could barely get our awning out uh, without making sure we were just centered perfectly. So we always thought that we'd keep that big Titan Shade canopy, it's a 10 by 10, if we could not put out our RV awning and we wanted to sit underneath shade and be protected somewhat. But one thing that always kind of bugged us was bugs. <laughs> we always wondered what would happen if we got in a situation like that same campground I just mentioned with all the pine trees and the mosquitoes were just horrendous. Now we'd spray ourselves with uh, eucalyptus lemon eucalyptus deep free stuff and it worked great but it kind of put a shellac on you and it smelled kind of funny so we we're always taking showers and god forbid if you sprayed it inside your RV because that smell would just kind of emanate through the air conditioning units inside and it was just horrible so we wanted to be able to protect ourselves from the bugs and we knew that this one here again that we bought mainly for flea markets and yard sales and swap meets that it wasn't going to fit the bill that wasn't going to be what we wanted because it took away our view it took away our breeze it took away everything that you enjoy about nature so we always thought about one of those screened canopies and we were going to buy one until the very last minute 
it dawned on me that there's no way to protect yourself from the bugs or the moisture or the ground because it didn't have a floor. Well, that changed. That same company started offering that canopy system with a floor that goes into it. And what we're going to utilize this for is our last camping trip was a perfect example. We love sitting outside, but the bugs were horrendous. And we wanted to enjoy the outdoors without getting eaten up. And if we had this with us, that would have saved us. It's called the clam. And I can say the first thing that I don't care about it, which I'm, I'm really picky if you guys don't know this by now. Uh, our normal subscribers know this. I have a lot of critique for things. And the first thing right off the bat is the way that it was shipped to me, it was just loosely boxed. It wasn't over boxed or anything. And I think that's pretty much how they all get shipped. I will put the link down below for this click the link it is to our Amazon affiliates account it does not cost you any additional to buy using that link and it'll help us out with this channel and continuing to do reviews a product like this uh, the second thing that I don't really care for is it seems like the bag might be a little bit longer than what our other ones are it's pretty close so we'll give that uh, a one on the scale of one to ten of being bad it has no wheels this is not exactly light now that's not going to work for my wife and most of the time I'm carrying these things however it would have been nice if it had a couple of wheels or some kind of strap on wheel kit or something because she would not be able to carry this for very far and manipulate it and sometimes I'm carrying quite a few heavy things already and then I when I unload this out of the RV if we're gonna drag it somewhere she can drag it because it's on wheels but guess what this one don't have wheels other than that, this is a very easy to put up canopy. And I'm going to do this in real time for you guys. This is the first time I'm getting it out of the box. I have no clue what it looks like inside there. I haven't unzipped it. And I'm gonna try to put it up in front of the camera and hopefully uh, I can speed this up uh, some kind of time lapse or something so you guys can see how long it takes. So let me go ahead and uh, get myself positioned, get the camera set up and we'll go from there. All right, so that was real time, and I didn't put it together all the way. Obviously, the floor's still there. It needs to be Velcroed in. But I just wanted to show you that without reading any instructions, I got it up. <laughs> um, there's still some things I need to do correctly, like these rods here. Uh, they need to be Velcroed in. Um, they're a little bit separate. I didn't want to do a how-to, the video, you know, how it goes up and everything because that's on YouTube already. The first thing that I noticed is, holy cow, this is big. A lot bigger than I expected. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is that um, you've got windows, so you can open just the windows, or you can open up the entire screen panel. And of course, this too is a screen panel. Um, and these are the doors. This is not rain proof. This is rain resistant. However, I'll put the link down below for the rain fly that goes on top of this thing and clips to all these corners that allow it to handle rain much more effectively than what this does. This is rain resistant. I could get out my hose right now and spray the hose all over it and it's not going to get wet inside, but if it's a downpour, yeah. One of the things that I've seen on the comments that you may be aware of or not if you're looking at reviews, somebody said that whenever you get a lot of rain, this thing may collapse the center. Well, of course, I mean, if you push it up and that, you know, only pops up into position why wouldn't it the same amount of pressure that it took to go up would make it come back down again so what I've seen is people talking about putting a pole in just in the center if they're thinking they're going to be experiencing rain now you can see already all the little bugs that are in here and that's because all those bugs were right here they were in the ground that's why I wanted the floor 
model <laughs> to use a term that doesn't really apply <laughs> but yeah I'm very impressed with this as far as its size I mean this is much bigger than our 10 by 10 obviously and as far as us traveling with it I think this will work out fine other than what I mentioned about my wife carrying the bag which she can do uh, she's a sturdy gal she's very strong and she doesn't like to be told she can't do anything so I'm sure that she would uh, be okay moving it but I, I, I don't care for that and I wish it did have some wheels but that would add to the overall weight that you're carrying in your RV or in the back of your truck so again nice product as far as the way it goes up I like the idea I like the design I like all the features and I can't wait to start utilizing this more again it's not set up all the way but this was never a how-to and you've seen I picked up the instructions just kind of read through a couple pages real quick I got the idea and up it went I mean it's pretty straightforward you just run these straps through the holes you pull it and that's pretty much the you know the, where the sides are out and you got to make sure you have the right part pointed up and it pretty much unfolds itself so I'm going to screw around with this for a while. If you'd like to purchase this for your camping excursions, I don't know. I can't think of a reason why not. A little costly. These are a little costly. Just to let you know. So when you click the link and you say, oh my God, it's whatever the price is at the time. I don't even know what the price will be while you're watching this. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. I've had some cheap awnings. Not this one. This one's a really good one. I'll put the link down below for this canopy also and my favorite one the Titan shade and of course the picnic table one too in addition to this one but as far as some of the real cheap ones go ahead buy them if you you know they're disposable and they're cheap so you can spend forty dollars and you know they're not going to protect you like this would uh, I don't know if you necessarily care the way it looks at the campground especially when it rains and it or the wind kicks up and it all folds up and you know <laughs> it's in a big heaping pile but uh, again you get what you pay for and I wanted something that was going to last something that could handle wind something that could handle a little bit of rain with the rain fly it could handle even more rain and most importantly this becomes a big screen room I love that part all these panels unzip and roll up to give you a screen room all the way around of course you can see there's velcro here to help keep the water out we'll go ahead and move that all the way up yeah, I, I should show you this feature because this is the one that really got me to where I'm like, yeah, I definitely want that. So what happens is uh, you roll these up. They tie up with the uh, ties that are provided here, you can see. And you've got this basically for your sides then, which, I mean, it's a big, huge screen. Let me show you what it looks like. I went ahead and just opened a couple of the panels. Uh, I wanted to show my wife what this looks like and I wanted her to see it with all the panels down But she won't be home from work later. So I did open the window on this one completely and then Partially here now I can tell you with the amount of light that's coming through. It's warm in here. There's no doubt about it um, I'm sure if I opened all these windows or panels, it would be a lot cooler and I might have to do that because um I'm glad I'm getting the rain fly because the rain fly may help with some of this heat coming through. It's definitely radiant heat, but I love the fact that you could sit in here and have a bug free view. That's again, the best part about this thing. I'm impressed with it. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, even though the reviews looked pretty good. Uh, whenever people have to pay a decent amount of money for something, they will find anything to complain about, including myself and I'd have to think for the money though this is worth it I could see us utilizing this again if you'd like to purchase this or any of the other canopies that I talked about or you've seen in my other videos click the link in the description it'll take you right to it and you'll be set I appreciate you guys watching and as always we hope to see you out there bye